Hey guys, Terry here with the Forest Farm Project. Uh, i got Brian there on the camera. He's going to help me out with some calculating. What we're doing right now is we're figuring up uh, where exactly on our lot that we want to set our house. So what we're going to do is drive four stakes. Our house is basically along just like this sheet of paper. Got house on one end. It's going to be longer than it is, you know, proportionally than this is. But um, it's just going to be 74 foot long and it's going to be 30 feet wide. Garage on the end, two car garage, and then the rest is house. So, what we want to do is just put four stakes in the ground and locate roughly where we think the house should set. Then get up on the drive and kind of look down through there. And if you've watched our previous videos, Brian and Emily's house is kind of uphill from ours just a little bit. And we've already got that established. We know where that house is going. We, we went ahead and just set theirs up and said, okay, we're going to get yours first and then we'll make ours work. So, uh, to that because they're going to be fairly close uh, we didn't want to take up half our woods with houses we just want our houses right there close clear out and then put a barn right there for us workshop and everything so anyway uh, we're going to use the right triangle uh, equation to establish a rectangle out there on the property and if you know anything about a right triangle if you have one side is X one side is y, and then the long side is z. It's x squared plus y squared equals z squared. We know we want x to be 74 foot. y is going to be 30 feet. It's going to be 30 feet wide. And it's going to be 74 feet long. Garage on this end, house this way. So we can calculate this since we know the 74 feet and the 30 feet. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we've got, it's going to be x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Y'all didn't go, no, he's going to math class today. <laughs> People say, I don't need math, I don't need math. Well, guess what? Maybe you do sometimes. Hey, look at there, it's a magic finger coming out to, to assist me. Go ahead, Mr. Magic Finger. Okay, we got 74 is going to be our x squared plus y is going to, oops, 30 squared equals z squared, which is our long side. So what's 74 squared, Brian? 5476. 5476 plus 30 squared is 900, right? Yep. I can do that in my head. Which is uh, 6376? Yep. 6376. So now, in order to find what that distance is in feet, this is feet squared, because x z squared is feet squared. So we want to... Uh, take the square root of uh, 6376, and that's going to equal 79.8. 79.8 feet. Okay, so we know now this side's 74, this side's 30, that side's 79.8. I'm going to go to the next page here. We've got our numbers now. Well, we're going to go out on the property. Let's say this sheet of paper represents our property. And we may want to set our house this way, that way, whatever, but on this paper to make it work out easy, uh, I'm going to show you how we establish our house site over there and got it squared up on the house site, or how we're going to. So anyway, let's just pick an arbitrary point. We'll go on the property, go back there and say, this is where I want the back right corner, looking at this from you guys, the back right corner of my house. And over this way is where I want the back left corner. I might say this way or angle or this angle or something, but... I'm just going to show you right here for rep, uh, demonstration purposes. So anyway, uh, we're going to measure over with a tape measure 74 feet and drop a pin there. Now we've got a pin there and a pin there, 74 feet apart. And I'll draw a line here just so you can see the, the uh, layout of the house here. Now, if that's 74 feet, the sides are going to be 30 feet each. And we know from our Pythagorean theorem that 79.8 feet is what the diagonal measure on that right triangle that we're forming here with 74 feet being one side and 30 being the other. We've got 74 feet measured out this way. We're going to take a measure 30 feet this way and pull a tape 79.8 feet this way. Where they cross is, and where they intersect rather is where that 90 degree line will be from here and will be 30 feet out. So I'm going to draw a 90 degree line here just to represent 
that. Obviously, we're not measuring it, and this is a piece of paper. It's not 74 feet, and it's not 30 feet. But let's just say that we arbitrarily pick this as our point. Boom. 30 feet this way. And I'm going to just do a dash line down through here to represent the 79.8, which is 79.8. And these are all feet marks. 74 there. Now we've got a right triangle, 74 feet, 30 feet, how we determined where to put that point. We could have measured out 30 feet and been way over here. We could have measured out 30 feet and been way over here, but it would not have been square. That 79.8 crossing the 30 is what gives you your square line, and you had to have the 74 feet established first. Now that's one side. We still have to get this one square. Well, where does it go? 30 feet out, but where from? You could come here and here and go 30 and 79, uh, 74 and get it now that we've established these. But we're going to go ahead and use our same Pythagorean theorem and establish this corner as well. So we'll take the, the 79.8, the long tape measure we have, we'll put it over here and pull it that direction. And we'll pull 30 feet this way. And when we do that, we're going to have basically the exact same thing that we did the other way. We're going to come up here and that is going to form another right triangle because it's going to be 79.8 feet this way and 30 feet this way and then you just connect this side to form your other side. So we just kind of wanted to show you the theory behind what we're doing out there on the property to establish where this house site's going and if you study that Pythagorean theorem understand it and if you uh, implement that on your property you can go out there and you know a, a one acre lot you're probably going to say well we're going to be 60 feet off the road square to the road that's it it'd be easy to lay out but out there on our property we, there's a lot of ways we could go so if you've got a bigger piece of land and you're not quite sure exactly where you want that house but you want to make it look like it's going to look just with stakes and rope and whatnot or string or ribbon or whatever uh, this works great it'll help you get a good square box out there to start with. So let's head out to the property and see how it works out for us. All right, well, we're out here at the property and we're gonna implement what we just showed you guys on paper and let you see what it looks like in the real world. Yeah, we've already laid the two pins, as we said, and uh, the back side of the house, mm -hmm. it's 74 feet and that's a straight line between those. There's no question there, any two points, you, you got a straight line if you go straight between them. So now we gotta get 90 degrees out, 30 feet over, and then get the other front side. Mm -hmm. When we get those two corners, the front side should be 74, just like the back, and everything yep. should be good. What we're doing, we don't have two long tape measures. The longest we have is a 25 footer, other than this 100 foot. Yeah. So we're gonna be using a piece of string. Well, it's a little stretchy, so we might be off a couple inches. We're not concerned with that. This is <coughs> preliminaries. Give us a chance to look at it and see, do we like what's here, mm -hmm. the way it's setting uh, uh, on the lot with the trees and everything in relation to the driveway and in the proximity between our house and Brian's, which I feel like we're gonna like it from what it looks like. But we're gonna get these other corners set and show you how we do that. And then we'll come back later and put the batter boards in. We'll do the in. batter boards later once we're verified that this is what they want. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta get- And you gotta set the batter boards back further than what, this is the stakes of the actual corners of the house. The batter boards you're gonna set back a few feet so that you can dig up to those points. Yeah, and their wives actually think that they have some kind of say in this, but we know how to sway them in the other direction. So we're yeah. gonna let them think that they're in control here. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> they don't watch this, so it doesn't matter. No, they never watch this, do they? <laughs> All right. All right, let's get out there and get to it. Yep. All right, so I'm down here at the 74 mark, foot mark, and Brian's at the zero point, and this will be our back wall right here for our house. This includes the garage, the garage and the house, 74 feet. It's going to be 30 feet that way. Uh, so right now we've got this line. Between these points is a straight line. You, you can't mess that up. Where you can mess up is I want to go out here 30 feet, but I want to be square. I don't want it to be crooked. I don't want my house looking like a bunch of triangles put together. I want it square or rectangular. So we got to figure out how to get that point out there and that far corner point. And that's what we did on paper. So let's go ahead and do that. One reason we've chosen to use EMT for our markers is because our 
cobalt 100-foot uh, tape ruler has a hoop on the end of it. As you can see here, it slips over that EMT nicely. And you want to drop it as close to the bottom as you can because if I put that tape at the top and pull on it, this pipe will flex back and forth. If I put it at the bottom, this pipe is not going to move around. You're going to get a much more accurate measurement by dropping it over here. So, 74 feet. There's our 74. And we've got our string hooked around this EMT. And now we're going to go up there and make them cross. And let's go up here. And how many feet was that calculated at? 79.8 feet. 79.8 feet. And there's 79. We tied a knot at 30 feet on this string since we don't have a another long tape measure. Oh, I got to get this over here. <laughs> Make sure it's good and square or triangular. 79.8. So eight tenths of a foot is uh, a little more than three quarters, which would be nine. So around 10 inches. Nine, almost 10. So pulling that tight and pulling this loop over here. I'm just going to go with nine inches. Again, we're close enough. We get our batter boards, we'll get it pinpointed. But this string's straight to that pipe. This tape is straight to that pipe. We have formed a right triangle with it, uh, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. This is z squared. And um, we're ready to nail that pipe down. So you need me to get that pipe. Yeah, that would help. I uh, got it. So Put now. that pipe right in that corner. That is close. We might be a half inch off, give or take. Get the sledgehammer. Don't hit daddy, man. I'm going to move this pipe. We're hitting a rock. So I'm going to go a little bit more about that 10 inch mark. Yeah, we'll be okay an inch off. Again, we're going to do our batter boards. This is not exact precision. This is just close. There's there. a big rock right there. Big rock. So, or old piece of root or something. Yeah, that's going to stay right there for now. Okay, we can measure off of that. No yeah. problem. All right, well, let's get to the 79 foot. Uh, so if we did 10 inches down there to keep things square, we'll do 79 foot 10 inches here. And actually, that's a better way to go because we didn't know what the exact eight tenths of a foot was, and I really don't care. We're just trying to get close right now. We're going to get it right when we put them batting boards in. We're just trying to make batter sure. Batter boards. Yeah, them too. <laughs> batter boards, batter up boards. All right, there's our 10. You got them both pulled tight. <laughs> There's what I need to do, get on top of that. There you go. Okay, that's tight. That's tight. There's our corner. Where's that pipe at? Right, right there under your leg. That's a short one. Yep, that's all we had. Okay. So, that should be our other corner. We just formed two right triangles. So, if we did that correctly, I should be able to take that tape and put it on that one. Measure to this one, we should be pretty close to 74 feet. Let's see how that works out for us. We are 73 foot 10 inches. That's close enough for government work. Well, we got the pipes in the ground. We got a basic rectangle. It's off a couple inches. Again, that stretchy string is just not going to be accurate. It's, it's close enough, yeah. a couple inches off over 74 foot by 30 foot, we're pretty good. And this is just temporary to show us roughly where the house is going, make sure we're happy with how everything's set up. Man, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, look nice. Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be really nice. When we come back and set the batter boards, it's gonna be perfectly square because if that's not perfectly square, everything's gonna be out of whack when you go to building. Yeah, I've been in houses where you go down the hall and it starts out like three feet, eight inches, and you get to the other end, it's four feet. <laughs> It might be a 30 foot haul, but still. You, you feel like you're in the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, things are all over the place? The worst one was a doctor's big old mansion and it had like a 30 foot long master bedroom. I nailed recessed lights down through there and I stood on one end and I said, they look like they're going out. You know, my understanding of depth perception, they should look like they're going in the further away they get because things look smaller. I go to the other end and look and they look like they were going way in. I went back to the other end. I said, they're going out. I forget. They were like six inches off over 30 feet. They were that far off when they built that house. I could not believe it. <laughs> you got to make stuff is, make sure stuff is square from the start and everything will be smooth sailing. You got to get that footing and foundation right. If you don't get yep. that right, everything's messed up. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, hopefully this helps you guys in laying out anything you need to do. Make sure you get it nice and square. And definitely be sure, don't use string that stretches. Use a tape measure or a piece of electrical wire. You could cut it and make it the length you need. Just anything. Two tape measures. Yeah, two tape measures is the best thing. That way you yeah. get numbers. They work a lot better. Yeah. You could use a transit and everything and really get serious, but we don't have That costs that. money. We have tape measures and string yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And pieces of scrap conduit. <laughs> we make do with what we've got. Yeah. But, but hopefully this helps you out, and uh, hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, we're ready to get rolling. We're going to be building houses soon, yeah. real soon. We're actually to that point now. It's getting real. Mom realized it the uh, night before last. She's like, ooh, I need to pick out doorknobs and range and, and drawer poles and everything. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, we couldn't get her on board for ever. She's like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> and now it's finally becoming a reality. So. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. Everybody's getting happy. We're almost there. Well, as far as Brian and I are concerned, this is, this is good. We're, we're ready to start building, although we do have to get the seal of approval by the women. Yeah. So we'll have to check on that first. Yep. <laughs> Once we get that, we're going to start moving forward. We got a, a friend of ours is going to dig out our crawl spaces. He's got the equipment to do that. He can do it a lot quicker than we can because he's used to it. And he has a transit. Yeah, he's got a transit, so he's going to help us lay stuff off. And he's going to dig our footings because though I've got a lot of hours logged on a mini X digging stumps, I have not dug nice square holes that are the right depth. He's used to that. Yeah, we don't want to have. You, uh -uh. you don't want to have a bunch of like that. Your concrete <laughs> needs to be right. Yeah. So. so we're going to have him do that for us, and then we'll be rocking and rolling. Yep. So have a good one, guys. See you.